So then, a short while after the something, disturbing events befell the once peaceful island. Bizarre monsters appeared and began to assault people. And wherever a monster attacked, it left an eerie looking crest in its wake. Demi Seed. This word inscribed on the crests became the name for these enigmatic foes. And now we come to Bronco Village, a tiny little town in the south of the island, and home to our heroes, the young boy Aids. Aids' mom, hold it right there, young man. Haven't I told you not to play outside? The village? Those demi-seeds are out there. Don't give me that look. Oh, fine, fine. Just be sure you come home quickly. See ya. Has that rascal run off outside the village again? And right when we done told him not to. Now, now, boys will be boys, dear. Nope, he'll never learn at this rate. I'm gonna give that boy a talking to he'll never forget. UFO. Aye, g -g -g ghosts or er, Earth Child. We would appreciate if you would listen without so much or er, freaking out. G, -g, g ghosts. Gah, can you shut up and listen? Yes, sir. We are space sheriffs from the far side of the galaxy. I am Zero. I am Garo. We come in pursuit of the infamous space outlaw Demi. Have you knowledge of him, Earth Child? Demi? Um, I don't know. That sounds an awful lot like them Demi seeds that have been making trouble on the island. Demi seeds? This may bear further investigation you mean mono might have come to this planet too huh who's mono a space sheriff who went after demi ahead of us you've heard nothing of him nope not a thing <clears throat> what could be what could he possibly be up to i'm going off to catch that rascally demi myself isn't that what he said? Well, either way, we've got to join up with him as soon as possible. But first, Earth Boy, I have a favor to ask of you. Huh? Our bodies cannot support long periods of activity on this planet. So, I would like to borrow your body for the time being. You what? Hold on, Captain. Surely that isn't... Gah, will you shut up? Maybe if our ship weren't wrecked, thanks to your reckless driving, there'd be no need to ask at all. Well, you've got a point, but... Sure, that's okay. Eh? Really, Earth Child? Yeah, I mean, you're here to catch a bad guy, right? If you think you could use a kid like me, I'd be glad to. Thank you, brave Earth child. You have our deepest gratitude. Say, what's your name? I'm AIDS. So, AIDS, if you don't mind, just keep your muscles relaxed and... How do you feel, Captain? Or, I suppose it's AIDS now, isn't it? It's a tad tight, but it's not too uncomfortable, so I shall continue the investigation in this form. Garo, you repair the ship beneath that tall tree and see if you can gather any data on our enemies. 
Roger. Hey, AIDS, what was that huge crash back there? Hurry, get out of sight. You okay, AIDS? You're not hurt, are you? N nope. Whoa, that's one huge crater. Was it them? Demi seeds again? Uh, yeah, but I'm okay. They, uh, ran off somewhere. You don't say. Well, get yourself back inside, quick. Oh, hey, guys. Hey, Retro, how you doing today, dude? Cool Moody versus Cowboy Zelda, right? Fuck, dude, I got high hopes for this one. Round one, what the fuck is happening? Did someone say AIDS because I'm positively excited to watch this stream? How you doing today, cool guy, Munt? This game looks really good, hey? I'm alright, still waking up a little. How are you? I'm doing good, man. No complaints. I'm really excited to see this game. Holy fuck. Look how nice it looks, dude. I'm alright, still waking up a little. How are you? I've got AIDS. Afraid I can't let you pass, boy. Your old man was mighty clear to me on that one. Sorry, just be a good boy and stay in the village, okay? Hanging and banging. That's cool. You just, like, thumb it into your hamster, or what? I, uh, very pleased to meet you, sir. I am Traveling Merchant, who set up shop in this town. Sale begins soon, as I find things to sell. Very happy if you come back later. Nay. Looks like his nose is up his ass. My dad's a rancher. He's awesome. Can I get that in writing? Hey, AIDS. How you been? Oh, what am I doing? I'm going to be taking care of some horses from the western pasture. So I was just getting ready for that. It's all just single dialogue one. Merchant man sounds Asian, right? Doesn't he? You should do his voice like the Chinese man from South Park. I don't know if I could do that one. Oh. I never really practiced like a Chinese accent for whatever fucking reason. Okay, we got saloon. Really, I'm allowed to just leave. Oh. Oh, I got a crab. God, this game is so fucking beautiful. What the hell, man? Jesus Christ, dude. It sounds and looks and plays so good so far. Oh, that's the western theme game you mentioned a while ago. It looks interesting. Fuck yeah, it does. This is awesome. How's your day today, Larry? This is my fabulous Maison sur la Mer. That's why I only serve things I like. That's it. Alright. Dude, that little gun is so fucking cute. I love it. Hey, Elagos. How you doing, man? Elagos disappointed? Why? What happened? It's easy, you just go, ooh, wall, so big, ching chong hot dog. <laughs> Hi, Walter, how's it going? My day was pretty unusual, but it happens. Good, but unusual. Why, what happened? You didn't show to my stream? Yeah, it said that you were fucking streaming. So I quickly fucking ate my lunch and went there like fucking 15 minutes later and you weren't on. I was like, what the fuck? I thought you just did, like, a really, really short stream or something. <clears throat> oh. Hmm. Gol... 
Colo Butch? Howdy, step right in. Is what I wish I could say, but... Truth be told, them demi-seeds stole everything I had for sale. Blammo, sob. Now alls I can do is learn people how to use weapons. Not that it makes a difference, telling a kid like you. Doggone it. If only there were a feller brave enough to stand up to them, demi-seeds. It'll be me. Productive day? Work didn't suck. Well, that's a blessing. God damn, this game is way too cute. I love it. I was lurking for a bit. Should have been longer. It's all good. I was... You were on for over two hours? What the fuck? I'm sorry. I didn't know that. <clears throat> Boy, you got the look of someone heading for a fight. Nah, I don't say nothing, I can tell. Your face is awful queer, but I see that serious look in your eyes. Alright, boy. Let me teach you a skill I came up with at the end of my travels. Learn charge shot? Press and hold the A button to begin charging. Let go when your body starts flashing, and you'll fire a massively powerful shot. Alright. I'm a lonely drifter. I wander the wilderness with gun in hand. Well, ain't you a cute customer. Giggle. Somebody tell Mel that Walter's about to propose to this game. Almost finished Bioshock. Tomorrow I should finish. Oh, fuck. Okay. Didn't you have a... What was it planned? Uh, what were you hinting at you were going to do again? It wasn't Sing Star. Just dance or something? Howdy, AIDS. You here to have some fun? Why, hello, little AIDS. As playful as ever, I see. Hey, AIDS, what's up? Wanna play today? Huh? You're busy. Rats. I was hoping, well, maybe tomorrow, then. Hey, it's AIDS. Yippee! <laughs> Just dance? I need to get another camera for that. What's... What's wrong with the camera that you have right now, dude? Fun with AIDS? What is this? A New York daycare? Brilliant. I'd watch dancing? Fuck yeah, man. I was really excited for it, too. Is that going to be next week? Hello, AIDS. A fine day, isn't it? How I just wish we didn't have the demi seeds to worry about. Sigh. What are your guys' first impressions on this game so far? Pain to move into a space for me to dance? Oh, okay. Oh, no, you don't. Them demi seeds have gotten monsters up the wazoo out there. It ain't no place for the playing of young'uns. Go on, get back home. Oof. I swear, I've just about given up on that man. That old fool let his whole stock of guns get stolen by the demi-seeds. What does he expect us to do against them now if we've no weapons at our disposal? It's shameful. Just shameful. I tell you what. I feel like any game where the main character can have any name will result in Cool Mode D being intentionally offensive or stupid. Don't change. Awesome. It seems like a game that I would never get to nowadays because there's so much to play. But if I had it back in the day, I would probably have a thousand hours in it. Stupid not enough time, hey? Howdy, AIDS. You got some business with the sheriff's office? Do I? Hi, I'm Peggy. The one who hands out the reward money around these parts. We've got bounties on all the demi -seed bosses. And that's fine and all, you know. Good to do something, but not a single soul has claimed even one of the bounties. And I'm sitting here bored to tears. Hmm. This game certainly reeks of being a modified version of Link to the Past. Looks good so far. Isn't it fucking gorgeous? God damn. God damn it. 
Oh, dude, look at the staircase. Speaking of Link to the Past. Yeek. So sorry, AIDS. But you came running into my room so fast. It's your fault, too. Huh? Well, what? Who are you? Is that what you said? Um, are you alright, AIDS? Did you hit your head or something? I mean... Oh, right. You did. When I... Yeah. Um, alright, I guess. We've been friends so long, it seems a little weird. Well, whatever. My name's Sarah. I'm the daughter of the sheriff here. It feels kind of awkward to say this, seeing as how we see each other all the time. Hee hee hee. I really am sorry I hit you and stuff, AIDS. Well, see you later. AIDS, don't forget my name again, okay? Love Western-inspired original soundtracks? Yeah, it sounds really good, hey? How you doing today, Jean-Claude? Hmm. The perspectives in the house is... The perspective in the house is the same as Zelda 2? Yeah. I know. It's nice. It's familiar. It's nostalgic, right? Staircase to the e-girl prison chamber? <laughs> the only thing missing is a Patreon link to exclusive pictures. Just lay under him and wait for him to pee. Nay. Nay. Can't go behind the waterfall. All right. Nay. No, it's nay. So, I hear you've been off to play outside the village again. What? Why in tarnation don't you listen to your mother? She worries about you. Hey, what's that? Huh? Our sense of justice has been awakened. And therefore we must defeat the demi seeds? Pops? What the? Damn fool. He just knocks out his son. Please, dear, don't be so rough with. Quiet woman. Now just what the Sam Hill are you saying, boy? You think them demi seeds are anything you can handle? Don't you be giving us no more of that bull dung. Now, I want you to promise your mommy and daddy I won't go playing outside the village no more. Say it. What? No one can stop us? To destroy the demi seeds is our mission. Pops? The Heezy? Damn fool. Haha, <laughs> 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 fantasy star humor. This game has child abuse. I love where this is going, right, dude? Sup, Nagger? Hey, Dragomir, how you doing today, dude? Please, dear, don't be so rough with... Quiet, woman. You ain't heard a word I said, boy. Alright. If it's to be that way, then go right ahead. Do whatever you want. But listen here. If you've decided with the heart of a man that this is what you're gonna do, I'll say this to you as a man. Until you actually bring down a single demi-seed, I don't want to see your face in this house. Do I make myself clear? Please, dear, don't be so rough with... Quiet woman. I think Walt wrote this dialogue. <laughs> I hate this kid's father so much. Do you? The Jurassic Park game on PS3 360 is a scene where if you fail a quick time event, the T-Rex devours a child on screen. Dude. Good for them. 
I think you're right. He was probably cooked on mushrooms and left alone in a room with a table full of typewriters. A quiet woman. Come on, you heard me. Get out of here. <laughs> he just keeps punching his kid. AIDS, what on earth possessed you to say such things? Come now, dear. You really ought to apologize to your father later. Yeah. <laughs> I want another smack. It's the only way I can come. You and your father are both so stubborn, you know that? Don't listen to him, okay? You can come home anytime, got that? There's no place for you in this house. Get out of here. Cool Modi was the only monkey in that room. It was the blurst of times. Alright, now how do we fucking proceed? Oh, no you don't. Them demi-seeds have got monsters up the wazoo out there. It ain't no place for the playing of youngins. Go on, get back home. Now fuck off, Nang. This kid doesn't owe his dad anything. <laughs> Howdy, step right in. Oh fuck, it's the same shit. It's what I wish I could say, but truth be told, them demi-seeds stole everything I had for sale. Blammo, sob. Now all I can do is learn people how to use weapons. Not that it makes a difference telling a kid like you. Doggone it. If only there were a feller brave enough to stand up to them demi-seeds. You're looking at them. This music's so nice, too. It's a shame this didn't come over to North America. You just saying the old... Yeah, he's saying the same shit. Fuck. Nice. Hey, Bean Boy, how's it going, dude? What's up, arms? Uh, every time you see me, you're just gonna think about arms. How you doing today, man? Bean. Heavens to dear old Betsy. All right, all right, enough of your pestering. Go on. Just don't let me catch you telling your old man about this. You left an impression on me, lol. Thanks for the shout-out. I'm just finishing up work. Oh, shit. Nice and early. A map? This is gorgeous. Sorry, I missed your birthday stream, dude. I was damn busy yesterday. Monty, it was your birthday yesterday? I think the creators of this game looked at a link to the past and said, let's do the same thing but make it a hundred times more wholesome. I'm happy with it. I love it. Good game to take some fucking inspiration from. <sighs> what the hell am I doing? I guess just explore everywhere. It's fine, LOL. Oh shit, Alagos is gifting a sub. Thank you, man. Yeah, I turned 114. Just putting that out there again. Multi Ani Munt. Damn, dude. Sorry I missed your birthday. Happy belated birthday. What'd you do all day? Sorry, 
Happy birthday, buddy. No problem. Oh. You guys are great. I streamed Gothic 2 for six hours, and I drank a lot on stream. Anything really funny happen? It was a great stream. Puma Man came by, and my kitchen much louder? Puma Man came by? What's a Puma Man? There's some audio doubling, like, a few seconds behind everything you say. Audio doubling. It could just be my phone. I have the fucking speaker. Or I have my microphone closer to my face than usual. Uh, made my kitchen. Oh, that's his phone. The doubling's pretty quiet. It sounds... You like are it's gay. Or something. Do you have your stream pulled up? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I have my phone over there so that I can do shoutouts and stuff. Got chrysanthemum fireworks. The game's got strafing. Where are we? Okay, before we go up there. Well, the map doesn't seem too, too big, right? Let's go up the right side. Oh shit, I'm about to die. That's not good. Did I just find a dungeon? Shit, fuck. Blackface. This dungeon has Beetleborg and Blackface Cowboys. Neat. Blackface Cowboys. Who needs anything else, right? Okay, we go left, up, or... Right. Fuck it. Let's go left. Dude. That's hilarious. Everything feels so familiar. I like it. Okay, they drop apples for health. game is so fucking gorgeous. What are we getting? Found treasure. Got ruby ring. What's ruby ring? All his downer face when he holds up the item. I know, isn't it sexy? This game is fucking so charming. 
wonder why... Hmm. I'll have to add this to my stream list. I like where this is going. Dude, it... it fuck yes. Very good idea. It's like a link to the past, but good. Link to the past was good, but Link's Awakening was better. Um, I think I like a Link to the Past a little bit more, but Link's Awakening is a damn near perfect game. Found treasure. Got Beast Fang. Let me guess. It's not in my inventory. I wonder why nothing's in my inventory. Oh, wow. Okay, so you get bombs with... You can throw water? Okay. I casually gazed at what you wrote and thought you were Hitler somewhere. My favorite Zelda game is the one where he presses his knee into an old lady's temple until her head cracks open. The only time I do that is when I'm singing anal cunt lyrics. I just can't help but think about him sometimes, you know? Sigh. Okay, before we go up there... I love Wind Waker, too. Yeah, Wind Waker? Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Wind Waker and A Link to the Past. Those are my two favorites. He stabs a colored man in the face, so it's not far off. just leads to the left side of this room, right? Alright. God, it's such a shame this didn't come out in North America. What the fuck? But I guess, like, it, this released in 1997 for the Super Famicom. Like, that's late as fuck for a Super Nintendo game. The N64 had been out for, like, a few years by that point, you know? It's a shame. A shame! Oh, yay. Bats. Do you not die? Okay. Run, boy, run. That's why it didn't come out. Nintendo of America had already abandoned the Super Nintendo by then? Yeah, of course. This would have been a fucking fantastic game, though. 
People would have looked back at this so fondly, I bet. We got Donkey Kong Country 3, Kirby's Dreamland 3, and then a Cloud of Dust. Man, every time I play a fucking Famicom or a Super Famicom game, I'm blown away by how fucking absolutely good it is. And it's always games that never come out here. I was gonna say, that wall looks kind of disheveled. I wonder if I can bomb through it, but maybe not. Got lapis metal? I never heard that genre before. Even Game Freak's first game was for Super Nintendo and we never got that? Disheveled, you say? Which game was that? I'm looking it up. Hold on. Was it any good? Have you played it? Nowhere to go but up. Bushi Seruden Futari no Yusha. No slurs, please. 1997 Super Nintendo? What kind of game is it? I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? I'm heading towards a chest, right? Probably. Sure was. Okay. I feel like you're just supposed to get hit by those guys. Wow, that's older than Sega fan. Man, I wish. Being born in 97, that would have been sick. Turned 26 this year.
It's an action tactical RPG hybrid. Wow. Wonder how that is. Duffman can't pee. Alright, let's go up here, grab the chest. Got Star Mine Bomb? Hmm. No English version yet. Oh, shit. Huh. I just kind of assumed almost every game would have had a fucking English translation by now. At least for like 8 and 16 bit shit. It wasn't their first game, but it was close. God damn it, I missed a room. Now I've been waiting on an English version of Dual Orb for roughly 15 years. Dual Orb. Any of you guys ever play Odin Sphere? Should I spend around 20 bucks for a character skin in my anime game? Um, is 20 bucks disposable for you? Make the waifu pretty. With my bad habits, yes. Ah, better than drugs, I guess. There we go. There's the door I didn't enter yet. This game is drugs. Found treasure, got bronze mirror. I wonder what the point of all these items are. Nothing is in my inventory for some reason. I want his derpy face as an emote? I don't know. Do I? Did you do that Winnie the Pooh one? I support this dirt face emote. So these enemies just kind of exist to get extra health, I'm guessing. More money. Oh, I forgot. I'll be at Starbucks tomorrow so I can draw it then. Oh, okay. Yeah, no problem, dude. I need a Dojimbo one, too. Dude keeps throwing money at me for some reason. Boss room? Okay. Oh, I gotta kill these guys again? Shit. Alright, here we go. Almost looks like a Zelda hack, doesn't it? Kinda? What do you think of it so far, Larry? Holy fuck, there's a sprite in this game of a cow dressed like Sailor Moon? Cool. Alright. Shit, boss time. Husa are Yusa? Misa name is Miracle 5. Masta Demi, he tell me to no let anyone who come a here go? 
home alive. Misa so very, very sorry, but Misa gonna squish you with Misa body. Fuck. Haven't seen enough yet, but the assets are pretty good looking. Yeah. Gorgeous game. No, you're breathtaking. You're all breath raking. <laughs> hey, video fam, how you doing, dude? How goes the game? I love it, dude. I absolutely love it. Good fucking redeem, dude. This is as good as I was expecting, and I was expecting good shit. How you doing today, dude? Dog bless the occasionally good redeem. <laughs> I'm glad you love the game. I'll tell you just the premise made me fall in love. That's it. But I have not played through this myself. I saw a streamer play it, and only for a small bit. It just seemed promising. It is, dude. Holy fuck, is it ever. Got Demi Seed Crest? I'm assuming there's like eight of them or some shit. Sounds about right. Dungeon 1 clear. I got no points on the boss. What's the... Why would you have points in a game like this? To 40 minutes. Oh, this is why we get treasure. For points. What's the purpose of the points? Does anybody know? I got a 1-up. Okay. Oh, you're a Birdman kind of thing. You're a Birdman... Whoa. Strange beast. Golly, I don't know who y'all are, but thanks a bunch for rescuing me. Wait a gold darn minute. You look all funny, but you're Cap'n Zero, ain't ya? Hooey, I ain't seen you in ages. It's me, it's me. Space Sheriff Mono. Was that? What are you doing looking like that? Why, I'm so glad you asked. I was doing just fine chasing that Demi all the way here, but... When I tried landing on this planet, I accidentally smashed right into this Robaton creature. Us two wound up, uh, coalescing, and now I couldn't separate from him to save my life. He just punch a cow? I understand if you're angry, Cap'n. Ow. But golly... Am I sorry? I talked back. I did dumb things, and I was just a regular old nuisance to y'all. But looky here, I regret it. 
I'm gonna follow your orders from now on, I swear. So come on, let's let bygones be bygones. Mono joined the party. This game has lives. Points could be lives related. I don't know. You punched a horse. Oh, this is a fucking horse. Okay. Oh, if and you don't mind, can you call me Robaton from now on? I kind of took a liking to that name. Sorry, but pretty please. Robaton joined the party. Anyways, let's get on out of this mold hole. A mold hole. There's a fucking word for you. This is a pretty fat horse. It looks like a cow. Hooey! I ain't seen the blessed sun in ages. Feels so good to move after being cooped up in all that darkness. Speaking of which, from now on you'll occasionally see carrots drop from enemies you beat. If you pick one up, hold it way up high and I'll come running. But I can't stand dark places like dungeons, so don't try calling me there. Till then, hasta la vista. Baby. Well, that's one dungeon down. Oops. Found 200 bucks. Fuck yeah, crack addiction, here I come. Guide says so far he isn't sure what the points are about. Just kind of a cool little add-on thing, I guess. I mean, if you get a game over, it probably resets. This game's got continues, right? Got a carrot. Interesting. Yeah, unlimited continues. Cool. What? You defeated a demi seed boss? You mean it? I thought for sure you was just going out to play again. Ha ha ha. That's fantastic. I'll run. I'll run, tell your old man right away. He's gonna flip a pancake. Right now, there's nothing to sell. Very happy if you come back later. Alright. My dad's a rancher. He's awesome. I don't know what the penalty for death is. Uh-oh. Hey, AIDS, how you been? Oh, what am I doing? I'm gonna be taking care of some horses from the western pasture. So I was just getting ready for that. I need some water. I'll be right back.
FAQ question number five. Is there really a point to writing a FAQ for such an easy game? Shut up. Hey, new music. How you doing today, dude? You should talk to the sheriff. I think you get money for showing in the demi crest. Proof of... Proof you beat the boss. Yeah, I mean, there's only like 10 NPCs or some shit. I'm just going to talk to them after every dungeon. Walter's watering the horses. Pun pull? Pun man's poop? Just came at the wrong time, lol. Hey, Master Max. How you doing today, dude? You're doing pretty good. Why? What'd you step in? Tis good. How about you? I'm doing great, man. This fucking game is amazing. I'm a lonely drifter. I wander the wilderness with gun in hand. Well, ain't you a cute customer. Giggle. Howdy, AIDS. You here to have some fun? Fuck, this game is so goddamn cool. Why, AIDS, just the sort of young fella I've been waiting for. That courage you show fighting them enemy seeds. It's wonderful, fantabulific. Please, let me give you some extra help. How's about I learn you how to use the weapons them monsters stole from me? That way, whenever an enemy drops a weapon, you'll be able to use it. Sound like a plan? So, how's about I learn you how to use a weapon or two? Alrighty, let me learn you how to use a machine gun. Okay. Well, what's this about? It's like a western cowboy themed version of Link to the Past, kinda. Super fucking cool, dude. I learned how to use the machine gun. Its power leaves a little to be desired, but for ease of use, it's numero uno. Clear the way with a spray of bullets. That sounds fun. Dude, doesn't it? It's actually really good so far. I just finished the first dungeon. Alrighty, let me learn you how to use a shotgun. Hmm. Learn how to use the shotgun. The mighty five-way shot is always reliable. You'll be all-powerful with this. Assuming you can shoot it fast enough, that is. Sweet Mary, you're a quick learner. Come again later, you hear? I'll learn you how to use an even better weapon. It's, like, as quirky and charming as Earthbound, but it plays, like, fucking A Link to the Past, kind of, you know? Learn me good now, you can hear. Oh, already been to the saloon. Why, hello, little AIDS. As playful as ever, I see. Hey, it's AIDS. Yippee! Hey, AIDS, what's up? Wanna play today? Huh? You're busy. Rats. I was hoping. Well, maybe tomorrow then. Yeah, of course, man. Yay for AIDS, exactly. Hello, AIDS. A fine day, isn't it? How I just wish we didn't have the demi seeds to worry about. Sigh. Seems this game has an Aeon Genesis translation. They're a superb team. Yeah, I've... Fuck, this game is so goddamn charming. It's unfucking real I swear, I've just about given up on that man. That old fool let his whole stock of guns get stolen by the Demi-Seeds. What does he expect us to do against them now if we've no weapons at our disposal? It's shameful, just shameful. Zelda-style game in cowboy times with graphics resembling Mother Earthbound series? Good shit. Fuck yeah, man. This is a great pick. There's no place for you in this house, I said. Hmm? Huh? Well, what? A demi-seed boss. You, get out of here. The that's a demi-seed crest. Oh, oh my. Uh, anyway, you should go report this to the sheriff. Yes, that would be fine. Uh-huh. Something else. I nabbed a bad guy, so it's okay if I come home. Right, Pops? 
Hmm. Well, that should be perfectly fine. It was a promise between men, after all. Hmm, yes. Oh, I just died to see what happens. The game has three save files, so I'm guessing it's automatic, or whenever you die, you choose to go back to town. Oh, yeah, that's not a big deal. Have you learned how to save? Just go to the bed in your house to save. Oh, okay, so it's like fucking Adventure Island 4. Thanks, dude. Afternoon, Max. Keep me company whilst I make stinkums. Hey, RDC Ducky, how you doing today? RDC underscore underscore Ducky. I was lurking while asleep. How did Red Dead Redemption go? I think I woke up to hear you annoyed about something. Seven days to die? That's a lot of suffering. Well done. Yes, well done, AIDS. Honestly, you little... I don't know where to ground you or hug you. Ready for bread? Sweet. Sweet. Keep lurking here, my dude. Oh, shit. Thank you, Soul Daddy. I appreciate the lurk, man. It went well. Soul Daddy. Creeping around. Hey, Derpala Dupe, how you doing today, dude? Man, I was like setting up my stream and shit, and I saw that you fucking subbed. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. That was nice of you. It will say race, but what it really means is override save. Weird that it says that. Little... Yeah, I figured as much. Tap dancing on these hoes? Nice. What kind of shoes are you wearing? I heard you beat a demi seed. That's amazing, AIDS. You're normally such a nitwit, but I guess you really can get your act together when you need to. Just calls you a retard. Flat out to your face. Sarah's gone. What the hell is that? What? You say you beat a demi seed boss. Huh? Well, that's a demi seed crest for sure. All right, then I'll believe what you say. Myself, I'm not thinking to just leave those rascals alone either, but you know that map that comes up when you push the select button, right? And that big suspicious looking mountain in the center, all covered in clouds? Unless I miss my guess, that's got to be the demi seed headquarters. But for some reason, we can't get anywhere near it. No way, no how. But, if we can't attack their main base, the least we can do is try to pick off those hideouts they got all over the island. And for that, we need your strength. Please, help us out. Ah, I knew I could count on you, AIDS. Alright, I'll let you know about the demi seed hideouts we've found. There's a cave to the northwest that I find more than a might suspicious. Go check it out for me. I'll make sure to tell Frank to let you through the western gate. Don't let me down. Oh, right. When you defeat a demi seed, collect the reward money from Peggy over there. <sighs> Bad choice of words for sure. Glad Red Dead worked out for you today. The strength of AIDS is unsurpassed. Hey, Jaflone, how you doing today, man? There's a cave to the northwest that I find more than a mite suspicious. Go check it out for me. I'll make sure to tell Frank to let you through the western gate. Don't let me down. Super AIDS. The $200 bounty on Miracle 5 is yours to keep. Hmm. I already gave you the reward. Money, didn't I? Alright. Now, I know that it wants me to go fucking left, but I haven't explored the right yet. A rabbit. And a UFO. Yes, Captain? I mean, AIDS? Intel? Okay, I've got something on the place that Sheriff Person told you about. The boss there is supposed to be a ninja. 
As far as I can tell, ninjas are strong and naked and can send your head flying with a chop. Please, be careful, Captain. Let's just hope AIDS doesn't evolve into Cancifilades. Hmm. Oh, okay, there is nowhere else to go. I figured there'd be a bunch more exploration. You know, when cancer, syphilis, and AIDS have an orgy, that's the love child you wind up with? God, how can I get so lucky? Who do I got the fuck? Even the map? This is so Zelda. Yeah, I've extremely Legend of Zelda. There's literally nothing for me to spend my money on yet, though. Okay, the sheriff told me all about it. I'll let you through, but you better be careful out there. How do you switch guns? Now we're killing armadillos? Apparently Final Fantasy VII was released in Japan the same day as this game. Game's definitely cuter. It's got a way nicer ass. Oh shit, now I got a fucking machine gun. Darn it all, there ain't no varmint like them demi seeds breaking my fences, writing all sorts of nastiness on the horse's butts. It's just little things, one after another, that together make me want to pull my beard right out. No hope for it, I say. I'm just gonna have to move all my horses to the village. At least that'll give me some peace of mind. That's it. One, if not the latest Super Nintendo release? Yeah. They had the whole console figured out by this point. You can tell, it looks and sounds so good. But lack of awkward PS era angles definitely hurts the game. Yeah, it doesn't look shitty enough. Okay, what are we at? What are we at? Uh, let's just see what's down here, I guess. Wouldn't hurt. You know, unless it hurts. Early 3D was mixed. Some games did it well, others were awful. Mostly N64 was awful. Yeah. You're not wrong. Bombs don't break the fucking rocks. Oh, shit. God damn it. Hey, a cave. I'm not allowed in the cave. How do I get off of this fuck? Oh. Do I have to enter a house? Oh, just goes away. Okay, cool. Ninja. I am Getsetsu. I am a trainer of the disciplines of martial arts. Return here, young one, after you have grown stronger. 
When the time comes, I will bestow upon you my method of certain success. He's gonna kiss me. Bonnie lies over the ocean. Okay, only place to go is north. N60 snore. Should I cross or should I go right? Well, I'm supposed to go to the northwest. Probably that giant tower up there, but let's just see what's to the right first. You know you can duck? Oh, that fucking helps you dodge projectiles. I didn't fucking know that. I was wondering what that was for. This looks awesome. Dude, doesn't it? This is fucking fantastic. Oh, that's an enemy. Okay. Love caterpillars. A ghost with a fucking ukulele. I am a ghost. I am monstrous. Lululu. And so, I am scary. Do wah wah wah. Um. Did I scare ya? Yep. Oh, really? Glad to hear it. So, next verse. I am a ghost. As clear as can be. La la. And so, therefore, you can see through me. Do wah wah wah. The blocking ghost is paying no attention to AIDS. Just singing its weird little song. It looks like you'll have to do something to it if you want to get past. He can duck dog even more? I am a ghost. Okay, what happens if I say no? Oh, really? Good to hear it. So, next verse. Oh. Alrighty then. Gun ineffective, right? Wonder how many of you guys are gonna play this now. This game is so fucking good. Oh. We'll just redeem it for you again? No. Can't do that. Oh shit, I'm almost fucking dead. God damn it. Alright, so we can go north. But can we go over here? Until you get sick of it. Yeah, I'm not gonna repeat uh, game redeems. That'd be boring. Oh shit, treasure chest. Chrysanthemum fireworks. They don't even do anything. Okay, there's a tent up there. I need to find a way to go up the waterfall, I guess. Take your cowboy home and let him rest real quick. None of these fucking things let you, uh... They're not dropping any health. You mean you don't want to play the Super Nintendo Star Wars 42 times in a row? Shockingly, no. I played that game a little bit, like a decade ago. It seemed like a decent game. Hard as fuck, though. Much surprise. Whoa, they're throwing shit. That's new. Okay, 
can go left or north. Let's just go. The game's utter trash. Oh shit, you don't like it. Is it just because of how hard it is? Or does it actually suck? I remember being alright. Is this a dungeon? Shit, are we on dungeon 2 now? Alright, fuck it. Let's just go right. Dungeon time? Yeah, man. This is dungeon number two, I guess. Fuck. If it was skill-based difficulty, would be fine with it, but the game is jank hard. Okay. Yeah, I never tried to beat it. Fuck. Oh shit. A mimic. Doesn't die. Found treasure! Necklace. Alright. I don't think it could get hurt from that side of the structure. Woot! I'm definitely hitting the fuck. All my woot are belong to this. Hmm. Mimics too? I know, right? What the fuck? Almost at a thousand gold, whatever that means. So we can go right or up. Let's just go right. See what we're dealing with. Shit. All right, let's just keep going right. I guess. I like this room. Fuck yeah. Might as well be a fairy found right there, you know? Alright, any more juice? I'll be right back.
Wait, did I not go in here? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's that room. Those things don't die. Okay. Is that a mimic? Now I'm gonna think it's a fucking mimic every time I open a treasure chest. Okay, we got a ruby ring. So much jewelry all yeah and i guess it's just for points after you beat the boss it just like you don't use any of it it just ends up being points Bread. I'm assuming that just like replenishes a fuckload of health. We at the boss room? God damn it. I accidentally made it to the boss room. HLTB quotes the game at four to five hours, and GameFAQ cites eight dungeons. Aww. Why are all the good games really fucking short? I could probably stretch it to, like, two and a half, three streams. Right? I mean, it's been about an hour and a half, and we're almost done Dungeon 2. If I keep up that pace... I would have been playing Aztec Adventure on the Master System this morning. When I, like, first woke up, I was like, alright, Elagod's not gonna be here in the morning, because he works, so we're gonna do this, and then tonight we'll play Aztec Adventure. Just explore everything? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Making sure. Down, up, and left. Oh! 200 bucks. We're rich. The game's short and easy. You could be done tonight, depending. That would suck. Oh, it's all connected. Okay, how do I get down there? Oh, steps. Okay. Fuck, I am almost dead. That's not good. Oh, sick. I love these guys. They always drop health. This is how I feel about Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. They had all the right place, the right pieces to be more involved in dynamic game. I haven't played that since I was like a teenager, but I remember really, really liking it. But I mean, it's short and very simple, right? 
Okay, before I fall down that, what's down here? Okay. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh. Got a crystal ball. some health. Where's that health room? I really love the art style. Me too, Master Max. As soon as I fucking turned this on, I was like, oh my god. I love this. I love this so fucking much. Like, it plays, sounds, and looks perfect. How the hell are you supposed to dodge that? Is it up here to the boss? I can't remember. Oops. Shit. Bread. Thank fuck. Okay. Alright. Boss time, I guess. Ugh. I feel like I'm gonna die. Wouldst the mono who dares oppose us, demi seeds, be thou perchance? What? Thou art but a boy. What farce? Thy body will be as charcoal beneath the Psycho Ninja arts of Brazil Circle? Yeah, that'll happen. Whoa. Whoa. Shit, fuck. Thou art but a bitch ass. He's using some Narutard bullshit on you. Which one's the real one? How are you supposed to know? Thank fuck, bread. Oh, crap. I'm almost dead again. Shit, fuck. Whoa. Crud. A cowboy ninja LMAO? Awesome. I'm fucked. This is such botchery. 
It appears mine frolic doth last too long, so be it. Though it be at risk to mine own life, prepare to experience the true secret of the Psycho Ninja arts. Ninja Colony Drop? Fuck yeah, that's it? Wow, just barely made it. <sighs> Got Demi Seed Crest. Did Mans kill himself? Yeah, he did, dude. He totally fucking killed himself. Perfect. Oh, I got a one up or something? Forty minutes again, huh? Oh, I guess I am exploring a lot. Equipment level times one? I got a one up. Alright, two down, six to go, I guess. Hey, Tifa Dog, how you doing today? Tired. You had a shitty sleep or what? I'm doing good. This game's amazing. I still haven't explored everything here. shortcut oh they're making you work more hours is that a bad thing or a good thing so there's nowhere else to explore right now Oh yeah. I wonder if I could talk to that guy in the cave now that I have that I beat the ninja guy. Wait, this looks kind of new-ish. Chrysanthemums again. Oh, we got a shotgun, finally. I don't like it. It's not like I need the money. Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah, that sucks if you're not hurting for cash. This fucking enemy is driving me nuts. How do I get up there? Nothing. No secret. You need to be able to, like, run up hills at some point. I already said yes when my boss asked me to work this weekend. The next time he asks me, I'm going to tell him no. Tell him to fuck himself with a knife. Huh. All right. 1472. That's a lot of gold. Um Hmm. Penis. It's penis.
Yeah, this overworld map isn't too big. I need something to drop some health, though. Two hundred more. Okay, we're almost at two thousand gold, and there's nothing to buy in the game yet. Ooh, we got the shoddy, right? We got a spread shotgun. Hmm. I really, 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 really need some fucking health, though. The game engine reminds me of another game. It's kind of like a mashup of A Link to the Past and Earthbound. It's really fucking cool. Fuck. <sighs> Just in time for the beeping. Go get him, Slayer. Is it really true that you beat a demi-seed? You marvelous thing, you. My old man, on the other hand, honestly, I ought to make him start taking his cues from you. You beat another boss? Why, you must be super strong. Don't push yourself, dear. Alright, let's save. Nah, the guns be super strong, lol. You've defeated another boss? Wow, AIDS. I think maybe I was wrong about you. Darn tootin'. Funny how all video game characters sleep with their clothes on. Yeah, who doesn't sleep naked? What? You've beaten another boss. Spectacular. Now then, here's where you should be heading next. Red Canyon, in the southwest of the island. At the summit lies the third Dammy Seed. Southwest? Okay, so I need a way to break... Fucking giant rocks. We know that much, but turns out there's a rock slide blocking the way in. You won't be able to get past without doing something to those boulders. Now, what do I do? Hmm. Great AIDS. The $400 bounty on Brazil Circle is yours to keep. Alright, we got 2,102 bucks. We can buy the cure for AIDS now. Hey, AIDS. I heard from my dad. Are you really fighting the Dammy Seeds? Wow, that's so rad. Tell me, tell me. Isn't it scary to fight the Dammy Seeds? Why, hello, little AIDS. I hear you beat a Dammy Seed boss. That just knocks my socks off. That's the song of the Harlem Globetrotters. It's pretty close. I got the bounty copper. See? Hey, AIDS, how's it going? Right now, there's, no, there's nothing to sell. Very happy if you come back later. What a dick. My dad's a rancher. He's awesome. Yeah, we'll see about that. Oh, uh, yeah, you can't shoot inside. Hey, AIDS, how you been? Oh, what am I doing? Well, my work's all done for now. So I was just taking a little break. Phew, wore me out. Gunpool Gunman's Proof, also known as AIDS, the search for seed. AIDS, the search for seed. Only on Super Famicom. 
Go get him, boy. Is it really true you defeated a demi seed boss? I never would have thought it. Wow, kid. You got the whole town talking about you. Do we get a new gun? Is that how we break the rocks? So, how's about I learn you how to use a weapon or two? Alrighty, let me learn you how to use a bazooka. Yeah, that'll do it. Learn how to use the bazooka. The destructive power of a regular bomb. You don't get many shots, so line them up carefully. Sweet Mary, you're a quick learner. Come again later, you hear? I'll learn you how to use an even better weapon. Alright. So what's the point of having this fucking subscreen if you don't have any weapons? Er, I can scarcely believe it, but have you been taking down the demi seed bosses? Yep. Goodness, so then, the rumors are true. I am a servant of God. I cannot approve of your use of violence, but I find your courage inspiring. Lord, may your light shine always upon the path this boy walks. Alright, what if I lie? I yup. Goodness. Same shit. Who? she's hot. I'll learn ye to trespass on my barnyard. <laughs> I'ma make her a sinner. Okay. Alright, I've seen a bazooka. Same shit. Well, if it ain't AIDS, I've got all the horses in the village now, and I'm just about ready to skedaddle on out of here myself. Yeah, you and what army? Alright. Fuck! I don't want a fucking carrot. I need a bazooka. God damn it. No. Fuck, that was close. Um. An armadillo. <laughs> yeah. An armadillo. Will one of you drop the fucking bazooka? Is there an easier way to get a fucking bazooka to drop? Game's audio sure is quiet, Copper. 
How quiet. It's really quiet. For fuck. How's that? Damn, the weapon drops are scarce, it seems. The only thing I can think of, go to a dungeon, maybe one will drop there if you can't find any in the open field. Shit. As quiet as my roommate is loud. Hey, Senna Stubborn, how you doing today, dude? Sounds good to me now? I'd rather have a quiet roommate than a loud one. Thank you, video fam. Thank you, partner. I'd rather have a quiet roommate than a loud one. Yeah, for fucking sure. God damn it. There we go. Having a loud roommate that's always talking is awesome. I gotta turn the heat down. It's fucking like a million degrees in here. One sec. This game is like Zelda, but in American Old West cowboy times. It's pretty cool. You're not wrong. What? Why isn't it working? That's not good. Hey, Metroid Hatchling. How you doing today, dude? This isn't good. There's no way to break these. Fuck. You just woke up one minute ago? Jesus, dude. <laughs> Is this Zelda? Oh yeah, definitely. Zelda with a bazooka. Yeah, this is kind of like a mix between fucking Earthbound and Legend of Zelda. It's fucking awesome, dude. Welcome, young one. I have awaited your coming. You appear strong enough now to learn my skills. Excellent. Then I will teach you my method for certain victory. Learned Big Punch? Hold Y for a little bit, then let go. Use this huge punch to clear anything blocking your path. Be it enemy or boulder. Okay, there you go. You need to play Sunset Riders? Yeah, I've never played it. This sounds really cool. Big Punch, right? I didn't need this fucking bazooka after all.
I use big punch on my wife all the time. What? There we go. Alright, yeah, we should probably see what's over here then. I used a big punch on Padme in Star Wars Episode 1, but then she died. Aw. Oh. Her name is Padme, not Punch Me. There's a difference. Sunset Riders got a less than good Sega Genesis port, but someone is making a homebrew port of it for Genesis that is more like Arcade. It's called Arcade Edition. Sunset Riders. I've always heard it's a good game. Two bazooka blasts to kill the fucking cactuses? Whoa. Corn on the cob. That's a new one. Okay, let's look at the map. Okay, I think that's probably where I'm supposed to go, so let's explore right first. Boob! What are you doing? Math! Oh shit, Colton subscribed. Dude, thank you. I appreciate it, man. Cute. 13 months. Fucking time flies, man. How are you doing? Time flies when you have a gun. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything even over here? My name's Dog Wandy. They call me the Quick Draw Doggy. Sorry to say it, young feller, but I don't think you got enough power yet. Come back some other time, okay? I'm really torn up about it, honest. Okay, so after I beat the next dungeon, I gotta come here. I'm doing good. Pissing for my asshole, but good nonetheless. Good thing you have a vegetable crisper. So there's literally nothing else in this desert? Alright. Down we go. But how down? Um... No! God damn it, I hate that carrot. Shit, a one-up, dude. Good thing I have all these hungry mouths to feed. Can you shoot or punch on the horse? No, you can't do anything when you're on the horse. How far down am I? Very bottom? Yeah, this map is really not big at all, either. This is a nice little bite-sized game. Other than riding him to completion. Yeah, when the horse showed up, I thought porn was going to go on. Ask me this. Have you ever encountered a treasure chest while out hiking or going for a stroll? Um, kinda? Is this Mr. Han's origin story? I remember one time me and my mom were, like, on a fucking road trip, and, uh... We're in the middle of nowhere, and we pull over because I have to take a piss. And I, like, wandered into the woods for, like, 20 seconds. And there was just, like, this big fucking, like, 
tackle box looking fucking thing. And there's just like a bunch of like letters and other crap. I guess it was like part of some scavenger hunt. I just happened to fucking come across in the middle of nowhere while pissing. What the fuck? I know, right? What are the odds? There wasn't any money or anything in it. But that would have been cool. I came across a geocache randomly 30 kilometers into the bush hiking up a random mountain peak. The fuck? Sounds cool. I encountered my first Playboy magazine while going through some orange groves. I was 14 and that was the first time I seen a naked woman. <laughs> yeah, I remember finding fucking porno magazines all over the place too as a kid. There's like in ditches by like highways and shit. Or like underneath bridges and stuff. Like the weirdest places. That bird, that bird was not innocent, dude. That bird was gonna rape me. I came across a treasure trove of hundreds of old Playboys in a field when I was like 7 or 8. Varmint. How the fuck do you get up there? Hmm. Shit, fuck. Las Vegas was infested with people trying to sell porn star trading cards and you'd also see them strewn all over the streets. Porn star playing cards. Quite the sight for a feeble child. Oh yeah, I guess so. Probably not interested in women's anatomy. Did you save them? Okay, left. Down here. Porn-kimon cards. Pukemon. Okay, let's... We can go right. <laughs> fucking boids. Oh my god, I was killed by a fucking vulture. You cunt. Get the hell away from me. You're not my real dad. My younger brothers and I hid them in a drainage ditch and marveled over them for a couple weeks before it rained badly and they disappeared. Bird is evil, man. <laughs> Fuck. They can hurt you coming up the steps? What? Alright, you know what? Just run into that thing. Oh shit, it's the dungeon. Dungeon 3. I had a deck of porn star poker cards in my stash as a kid, the good old days before the internet. Jeez, okay. light torches now? Oh, damn. Aw, oh, fuck. It's already been over two hours. God damn it. I'm liking this game so much, I don't want it to end. You marveled over them and came all over each other, and then Daddy showed up and came all over you, and then the sewer ran with cum. I found some porn star poker cards and a bunch of comics that my brother had hidden away when I was going through the whole comic collection in 2020. Porn star poker cards. All this shit just fell out of a Spider-Man comic. 
I was Jeffrey Dahmer's fleshlight when I was a little ass. I'm gonna go grab my vape. I'll be right back. drop down there I guess looks like it they're throwing bombs now oh it's this cunt oh that was easy all right we're going right as long as they didn't eat you out do I get anything for killing all these Nothing. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Long pig, the other white meat. So many doors. I remember walking past these group of 20-year-olds on the way home from fourth grade, and the guy said, hey, kid. I looked back, and he ripped his girlfriend's top off. <laughs> hey, kid. What the hell? Oh, you're a bad guy. I tried shooting him, and nothing happened. I was like, okay, it's a friend. Got a revolver. You can feel its weight in your hand. Your regular gun is finally powered up. Just like that. Your fight gets easier. Fuck yeah, dude. Not all heroes wear capes, right? He's probably wearing a Slipknot shirt. I mean, how dare he? We'd have the older boys in the neighborhood flash us. Grew up in a pedophile nest. Okay, let's go left. That was a prank here as well. <laughs> prank. That was gonna be a mimic. One time I was walking with some friends on the shitty part of the strip in Vegas, and there was this middle-aged woman who was shouting at us from across the street, hey, you boys wanna see the Grand Canyon? And one of my friends was just like, nah, and she goes, how about some titties? <laughs> just cross the street and start headbutting her. that shit this isn't good I thought I'd been everywhere that was a dead end stupid spread shot okay I think I've fucking been everywhere I'm confused That 
That reminds me of the movie Milk Honey. Never heard of it. Reminds me of Bill Cosby's home videos. <laughs> Ah, I guess I didn't go down here yet. Hmm. Boob! What are you doing? That guy's high as fuck. Oh. Is Milk Money the movie where Melanie Griffith plays a MILF? Oh, it does die. It just takes an insane amount of damage. Yeah? Milk money? Oh. Dead end? Well, fuck that room. Also had Ed Harris. No idea who these people are, man. I'm also a fucking clue. Who played as the kid? Macaulay Culkin. Oh shit. The dungeon's cut up into two parts? Okay, what's this? Oh, weird. I got Mel's Xmas gift. We bought her in the mail today. Finally, she's going to shit blood when she sees it. As opposed to not shitting blood. I don't think you know her very well. Michael Patrick Carter? When are you guys coming out? Michael Patrick Carter? That doesn't ring any bells. No idea who that is. I hate these fucking vultures. Got delicious meat. Health refilled to max. Really? Oh, I'm not on suicide watch for my brother. Is he with you right now? You'd probably recognize that Harris if you saw him. Yeah, probably. He's in a lot of movies. And I've been watching a lot of goddamn movies lately. He's the director in The Truman Show. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. God, I fucking love The Truman Show. Okay, before I go up there, what's to the left? Snakes. Another one up. Cool.
Okay. So was I supposed to explore the right before coming here? Um. Whoa. Sweet. Fucking love the machine gun. Uh, the Rock, never seen. Top Gun Maverick, never seen. Sherman Show, I love it. The Abyss, never seen. Apollo 13, never seen. Needful Things, I've never seen. Oh, yeah. I've missed out on a lot of fucking movies. Kind of movies these slackers been having you watch? <laughs> it really depends. There's fucking millions of movies out there. There's always going to be something where people are like, how the fuck haven't you seen that? Oh shit, it's a boss room. Damn it. Alright, here we go, boss time. Next thing you tell me you haven't watched Highlander? I've never seen Highlander. Oh, heh heh heh. So it is you, the boy who dares resist us demi seeds. I am Demi. The mighty lord of the demi seeds. So you are the one who beat two of my organization's bosses and sent them whining to me? I consider it childish, but as you offend my eyes, I shall have to make you disappear. Sick'em Galahad E3. Take him down and there's a nice juicy steak waiting for you. That's okay, you've played five times as many games as I've played in my life. Yeah, I like, yeah, I've always been a video game and music kind of person instead of movies. Christmas was last month, so I had only requested Christmas movies. At some point I want to try to redeem some good movies for the rest of the year. Yeah, fuck so many. So many Christmas movies. Oh boy. Whoa. Oh shit, I'm almost dead already? Shit balls. Man, you had the biggest CD collection when you were kids? Yeah, music. I was obsessed with music. Am I supposed to just hit the heads, I wonder? Okay, that's one of them. Die Hard? Yeah, I watched that when I was like a teenager. I haven't seen it in a long time. Uh, did you watch National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation? Uh, yeah. I... Yeah, that one was redeemed. A Christmas Carol? I've never seen. Die Hard is the best Christmas movie of all time. Yeehaw, no effects. Fuck the world. Bury me with my money. How you doing today, Magnum Force? The music to AFV, LOL. Yeah, pretty close. No effects isn't playing anywhere near us on their final tour. Oh, I'm good, man, and you? I'm awesome, dude. This game is fucking perfect. I love it. Ralphie, you'll pull your eye out. Ralphie. Now what?
That was it? Sick. Fuck yeah. Alright, three down, five to go. Such Sag, so much Sag. I like Turtos. G -g Fuck, this game's gonna be over before I know it, God damn it. Dungeon 3 clear. Hey, Samato, how you doing today, man? Seven. We got seven heart chunks now. I feel like I fucking missed a part. Now, ah, whatever. Peen I'm good. Hope you are as well. How's the game treating you, dude? This game is fucking perfect, man. Absolutely perfect. I'm in love with it. This is definitely one of the best games that I've fucking played redeem wise so far. Damn, we three dungeons down already? I know, right, dude? This fucking game's not gonna last long. Very nice. I prefer dungeons, to be honest. Oh, really? Yeah, they're not bad. They don't suck, thankfully. Oh. This game looks like fun. I would, I would play it, so I look forward to Sega redeeming it. Gotta be better than Golden Axe Warrior. Shut your fuck hole. Golden Axe Warrior was amazing. How you doing today, Ultima? You get some good games for once? <laughs> Walter Reread. Ultima CJ. Shut your pie hole, Wang Chung. Amazing, yes. Amazing balls, bad, Heyo. I guess if you hate Legend of Zelda, but if you hate Legend of Zelda, you'll hate this too. Go get him, Slayer. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yep, yep. I always thought you'd be doing spectacular things one day. Don't push yourself, dear. Fuck, we're almost half through the game. What a bummer. Don't you dare compare that to Zelda, how dare? It is Zelda, it's exactly like Zelda, it's just done better. It's Alabama Zelda. I almost can't believe it. When did you ever get so strong? This game looks just as fun as Zelda, to be honest. I'm talking about Golden Axe Warrior, but yeah, this too, for sure. Haha, <laughs> Alabama Zelda, lol. Sums it up well. Oh, lol, whelp. Yeah, Golden Axe Warrior is a Zelda clone for uh, the Sega Master System. They came out in 1990, and it's fucking perfect. It takes everything Legend of Zelda did, but, like, ramped it up. Not many people have played it, and it's fucking perfect. I redeemed it from uh, Ultima CJ, and he's like, this game sucks. Golden Axe Warrior is great. It's fucking perfect. What? You've beaten another boss? Spectacular. Now then, here's where you should be heading next. There's a ghost town to the northeast, and I hear the demi seeds have built a base there. Now, people say that place actually has real ghosts. Crawling all around, so be on your guard. Fuck. Wonderful, AIDS. The $600 bounty on Galahad E3 is yours to keep. Look at all this money, but I got nothing to buy. Redneck Zelda? <laughs> hey, AIDS, how's it going? Why, hello, little AIDS. I hear you beat a demi-seed boss. 
That just knocks my socks off. Tell me, tell me, isn't it scary to fight the demi-seeds? Hey, AIDS, I heard from my dad. Are you really fighting the demi-seeds? Wow, that's so rad. Oh, how goes it, man? Max plays in a Zelda. You should play Golden Axe Warrior so you can say Zelda was better. Hiya, ah, boy, over there. It's good thing for you here. Look, is beautiful cross. How about one for charm against evil spirits? Crucifix is 300 bucks. That's it? 300? Got the crucifix. All we need is some Dukes of Hazard style narrating. Aha, this is likely a sacred golden crucifix. With this, you can dispel the blocking ghosts who block your path. Sweet. Well, that solves that. That's how we get past the fucking ghost. Hmm. <sighs> My dad's a rancher. He's awesome. Mm-hmm. That's rad, yo. Grocery shopping? Fun shit. Hey, AIDS, how you been? Oh, what am I doing? Well, my work's all done for now, so I was just taking a little break. Phew, wore me out. Story of my life. Go get him, boy. Is it really true you defeated a demi-seed boss? I never would have thought it. Wow, kid. You got the whole town talking about you. Get rid of ghosts with the power of Christ? Yeah, essentially. Oh. Hmm. Do we learn anything new? So, how's about I learn you to use a weapon or two? Alrighty, let me learn you how to use a flamethrower. Okay. Learned how to use the flamethrower. A gun of fire with power unmatched. It eats up ammo like nothing, so keep an eye on your count. Sweet Mary, you're a quick learner. Come again later, you hear? I'll learn you how to use an even better weapon. So now we got a flamethrower. Ah, it's just the same crap. Oh, yeah, yoy. So we've already done, like, half the map. More than half the map. I.e. crucifixes are scary. Forgive me. Problem solved. Hmm. Skeletons. Okay, we can go up or right. Mm. Fuck it, let's go right first. The fuck? Wahaha! Before you lies Ghost Town, a paradise for the dead. Should you die here, we get your skull. That's a pretty crazy thing to say. What's your answer? Sure. You gonna go pick up Mel from work? Um, yeah, like... She'll probably be phoning me within the next, like, 10 to 40 minutes. What time are we at? Two and a half? I, yeah, I'm gonna try and play for another half an hour. 
Wah ho ho, that's some guts, boy. Then go ahead. We welcome you to our town. Enjoy your stay as much as you can. Chrysanthemum fireworks. Oh, that's a cool tune. Is this a fucking dungeon? Holy shit, it is a dungeon. Found treasure. Gorgeous sword. Gots to go. Had fun watching as always. Y'all have a good day and a great rest of stream. Yeah, you too, dude. Thanks for hanging out, Master Max. I'm sure I'll talk to you later, dude. God damn it. <coughs> hey, my neighbor Jess. How you doing today, dude? You ever play this? I need some enemies that drop health, like, right away. Wow, never played this? I totally forgot about it. Man, this game is so fucking good. It's kind of like a link to the past meets Earthbound. It's fucking awesome. Oh shit, now I got a flamethrower. This looks like a very cool Zelda clone. Happy to hear it's good. Hey, Nicholas, how you doing today, dude? It's an absolutely amazing game. I'm almost halfway through already, though, which is kind of a bummer. You have a flamethrower? Whoa, I know, right? All good today? Yeah, I remember seeing this listed on import catalogs. Looks great. It is, dude. It really is. You should give it a shot. I bet you'd love it. OMG, it's a wild Nicholas, right? So, what are you wearing? Holy moly. The world's holiest moly. Ah, oh, this dungeon seems like it's gonna be a bit of a maze. Society can't contain me. M3? What's M3? Alright, I need more health. Fuck that. Oh, Mother 3, that's right, fuck. It's today, I was just trying to figure out some stuff with classes first. Feeling overwhelmed, ass to mouth. They're emailing me, like, pay for your classes or we'll drop you, and I'm like, ah, I still need to find my goddamn textbooks. Oh, you couldn't find the PDFs yet? Big time putting it in the to-do list, along with Adventures of Little Ralph, which I saw for the first time a couple of weeks ago. Adventures of Little Ralph? I've never heard of that. Is that a Super Famicom title? Nope, still no fine. That's fucking frustrating. You're gonna have to, like, bite the bullet and buy a textbook, or what? I 
That sucks. How much are, how much are the textbooks? Hundred fifty to two hundred bucks, which is nuts, and it's hard to find used ones. I'm guessing on like eBay or some shit, or is that the used price? Dude, look up little Ralph. It's a oh PlayStation One late gen from Monster World Vets. Monster World Vets. Little Ralph, what kind of game? This place is confusing. 2D pixel art gem, it looks great. I gotta play it myself. I haven't really looked for used copies. I was pretty much determined to find PDFs. I'll need to do some more hunting probably after today's stream. Yeah, good idea, dude. It sounds fucking stressful. Monster World Mon- Oh, Wonder Boy devs. Holy shit, okay. Dude, that sounds really- Fuck. I love that company. That could be really, really, really good. Man, this dungeon is super confusing compared to the other three. Similar to those games. Oh, it's similar to them. Heavy arcade Capcom vibes like Willow, Magic Sword, Three Wonders. I've never played Magic Sword or Three Wonders, but Willow is absolutely amazing. God, I love that arcade game. I can't believe I never heard of it. Oh, it's Japanese only. Okay. That's frustrating. I mean, I can play Japanese games, but like, you don't need to read all the text and shit, I'm guessing. Found treasure. 10,000 yen. Japanese only PS1. Oh, Jesus. Well, this is a fucking nice place to farm shit. This is an amazing place to farm shit. Holy fuck. Uh, now I got the stupid shotgun. I'll try to be on in like 30 minutes, Nicholas. Gonna go bathe now? Bring us with you. I want to bathe with Metroid. Dilf is right. <laughs> Thanks for the lurk, man. It looked English friendly. It's more arcade style. Okay, cool. Ah, with any luck, somebody will redeem it eventually. One day I'll have to do an RPG redeem of Willow NES. Great Zelda style game, but there's a lot of grinding. You need to be level 13 minimum to beat the game. Sounds good to me, man. I love the Willow movie. Have any of you guys watched the Willow show yet? Do you know if it's any good? I bathed with a room full of naked elderly men in Sapporo. That's cool. Did you get lucky? Dilf indeed. Willow NES is fun, but holy heck, that arcade game is gold. Yeah. 
I was surprised how much I loved the arcade game. Kid Glove actually redeemed it for me. You love the Willow movie? Nice. Yeah, fuck yeah, I do. Willow's the shit. I love stuff like Willow and Labyrinth, Dark Crystal, Never Ending Story. Now they just ignored me? <laughs> you should have started doing the windmills. That'll get their attention. What the fuck is happening? Much confused. Balls. Okay, what the hell am I missing? This is definitely the most confusing dungeon by far so far. Hopefully it doesn't get fucking more confusing. Is this an English patch? Yeah, dude, sure is. What's good, my main man, Metroid? He's having a bath. We should go follow him. I think he would like that. Bradley's currently naked in the bathtub. That's <laughs> what he was born to do. This area is fucking enormous. Iron Fist? This is a glove made of iron with this on? Your hand won't hurt no matter what you hit? What? Am I supposed to be fucking hitting things? Hmm. I can fist things harder. Any volunteers? Okay. What? Where? When? Why? to go. I definitely need more fucking apples. I use that glove to fucking break the uh, big iron door. That would make sense, right? Probably. Since when did Cowboys have Mac 10? Um, Alabama circa 1958.
Alabama. Roll Tide. Hey, Cassius. How you doing today, dude? Waiting. I'm waiting. Huh. What about those crisscrossed boards on the floor above you? I don't know. Did it look breakable? Fuck. Bats. The wonderful fruit. Fuck, I needed that. And that. Oof. It did to me. Howdy, boys. They were in the other area. China and the U.S. government gave bats a bad name. They're delicious. Napalmed area? Yeah, something. What happened to this fucking place? All in the wing. Oh shit, boss time. Alright, what are we dealing with? My my, it's been so long since we've had a lying, a living visitor. Call me Ghost Suzuki? Life, life, life. Who needs it? <laughs> yeah. Being a ghost is so much more fun. Ghosts don't have... Exams or anything. Come, boy. Get ready to enjoy your first day of the ghostly life. Shit. Shit, what do I do? Uh-oh. Man, anyone had famous Dave's sweet and spicy pickles? I just did. Holy shit, they're life-changing. Never heard of them. Boob. What are you doing? Such pain. I've never felt such pain in all my death. This calls for the last resort. Uh-oh. Music does kind of slap. Yeah, the music in this, the visuals, the everything about it is fucking awesome. Yes, shello, hello, one part shoot, please, yes, yes. Come here. Apache one? Oh, wow. I just happen to be standing in the worst possible place. Oh, fuck me. What the hell? Shit. Shit. Oh, no. Oh, fuck, he's doing it again. Crap. <sighs> this guy's fucking tough. 
shit. Oh, what? How the fuck did that hit me? Oh, no. Oh, no. Shit. I think I'm gonna die. Yep. Fuck. Publix had them? Um, not a fan of sweet pickles, but I'll take a spicy pickles any day. Me either, usually, but these hit different. They're extremely spicy. Sign me up. I'll keep an eye out for them. Your gut must love you. Also, cool boss, I may have to give this a go. Fuck, I died. I gotta go back to the village? God damn it. First fucking game over. Yep, I can handle the spice. I love spicy. I just got into it like a few years ago. I used to not really give a shit about spice, and then I just got fucking hooked. Same, really. At least you get to keep your upgrades. You still have your Iron Fist. Yeah, thankfully. Oh, thank fuck. I love spicy, but my insides do not. Yeah, I could imagine, dude. All right, fuck this place. Let's just go back. I'll explore this on my next stream of this. Here we go again. I think I went in this one. Check your Discord. I think this is the right path. This lovely place. Man, they jacked our boy Zelda hard. Yeah, they just keep jacking him off for some reason. Oh, holy fucking shit, Dojimbo. Just doesn't even say hello. Just jumps in and throws ten fucking gift subs. Holy crap, dude. Thank you so much. Mother of God, dude. It's even odd. Stevie comebacks. Rumpy. 
Cudless Horseman, Shattered Scotty, Atomic Cat 93, Popsicle 7310, Say La. Say Layla? Danny Prime 33, Ulfren TV. Dude, thank you so much, man. What the fuck? We did a batch of crawfish last season. We added a ton of ground ghost, scorpion, and reaper peppers into. Oh my god. The steam coming off them took your breath away and, I, and burned your eyes. By far the hottest stuff I've ever ate. I usually ate like four to five pounds myself. But that day I could barely manage a pound. Yeah, I bet. Holy fuck. That sounds like hell. OMG, what's so bad at doing that? Such a complainer. No, dude, not complaining, just shocked. Every time you fucking do that, it blows my mind, dude. Oh my god. Thank you. Thanks, dude, you're the man. Holy fuck, that would feel so good coming out my butthole, right? Good way to die. How you doing today, Doj Dojimbo? You single daddy, right? God damn. You're fucking nuts. So, Walter, when will you play my Redeem? Which one? Surprise subscription gifting, right? Out of fucking nowhere. Oh my god. I'm trying to find someone to make four profile picks? You know my redeem you won't take? Yakuza 0. <sighs> Alright. I'll play through Yakuza 0 for you. Fuck yeah. You're really that excited? Why? You need to hit his mouth, not his body. I am the photoshops, what you be needing? What the hell? Okay. Oh fuck, I'm dead. Man, he hits hard. I wonder if real Yakuza play Yakuza. I need to see a reaction to the story of Yakuza Zero. I need art of my OC for a profile pic. Really? That was unfair. That was it? How did I die four times there earlier? Jesus. Alright, well, he's dead. Let alone new art for it. Hit me up in them D chords. I'll see what I can do for you. GG. Thanks, man. Ah, oh, the paw paw pain. But this is not defeat. For ghosts do not die. They don't even get sick. One day I really will make a ghost out of you. Till then...
Sweet. Got Demi Seed Crest. Okay, we're half through the game. God damn it, we're already half done the game. Sweet. I spent an hour making Walt in a way scene that he won't use. I just haven't added it yet for some reason. Yeah, I'll definitely play this, I think, after I revisit. Man, Crusader sent you was so much fucking fun, too. I love that game. He can confirm my art is decent. Oh, yeah, it is for sure. Without a doubt. I see. For real, Jess, I've been looking for a 16-bit RPG, and this looks great. I've never seen or heard of this game in my fucking life until I'm just playing it now. And it's so worth it. As soon as I booted this up, I'm like, holy fuck, this is gonna be magic. Everything here hits so fucking hard. Oh, I can't get in there yet. Telling Walt about Adventures of Little Ralph earlier. It's a PS1 game I recently found out about. Have you played that one? This soundtrack's so good. Do any of you guys know if this was the final game ever released for Super Famicom? It came out in like 1997. Not gonna lie, when I first saw you boot this up, I was like, fuck another Zelda clone, but I'm eating those words. Shit's awesome. A Crusader Senti was really, really, really good too. And Golden Axe Warrior. Zelda clones are usually really good. Newtopia was awesome. Crusader OP. Yeah, Crusader Senti is fucking fantastic. I'm gonna fucking die. Dude. What the fuck? Yeah, but you've done a bunch lately. It was getting stale, but this is legit. It was just horrible release timing. Yeah, very... I think this would have done extremely well if it came out in North America. Or at the very least, it would have been, like, looked back at as a fucking amazing video game. The last game to be officially published on a physical cartridge was Fire Emblem Thracia 776. January of 2000? Holy fuck, dude. I didn't know that. What the fuck are those cats doing? Wow. These guys are all super tough. Hey, Lit Clips, how you doing today? Anything Fire Emblem really? Yeah, Fire Emblem's the shit. Doing all right, getting over a cold, okay. Were you puking or shitting? 97 is late Super Nintendo lifespan, PS1 was already off to the races, oh yeah. 
for sure. Wait, what the hell? Got zeal coin, life increased by one? Dude. Okay, so if there's eight dungeons, and you start with three, that'll be 11, 2, 4, 6, 8, there's 16. Okay, so there's another four of those laying around in the overworld somewhere. PS1 was in full swing at 97? Oh yeah. Another Zelda clone? Yeah. A really, really fucking good one. How you doing today, old friend? Oh, you puked once? Shit. That sucks. <laughs> God damn. You know, I've never seen this one? Yeah, I've never seen or heard of this game either, but it's fucking so good. Everything about this game kicks ass. Shit, that's after the Super Nintendo version of Street Fighter Alpha 2. God damn it. I don't want my damn horse. That cart's impressive. Doesn't have that have like the biggest extra chip or some shit for like a Super Nintendo cartridge? Are you guys talking about this game? I played Jurassic Park 2 on the Super Nintendo for the first time the other day and didn't realize how hard the game was. Fuck. Somebody redeemed that for me, like, several months ago. That was a fucking hard game to beat. Holy shit. That game was driving me fucking crazy. Seems almost like the enemy attacks have gotten more and more intense lately. Bring it on, you blasted demi-seeds. Just see if I let you get past here. I think it's a Japanese RPG that's the most powerful card. Oh, okay. Walter, will you finally tell us who this T-Bore is? Fuck no. Check your Discord, old friend. I've been thinking lately, just that you seem different now from the AIDS I know. Sorry, I'm just babbling, I guess. So I'm gonna get married to Sarah at some point? Yeah, Street Fighter Alpha 2 is a big card. It doesn't compete with the PS1 Saturn, but it's nuts how much it pulled off for the Super Nintendo. Yeah, it looks extremely good. The intros and shit. All right, thank you. I may try this soon. Dude, it's so worth it. Wasn't the FX2 the most advanced Super Nintendo chip, though? Japan had a bunch of Super Nintendo games released in 1999, including that Fire Emblem game. Wow. But I want to know who Tibor is, though. Daikaiju Monogatari 2? What? You've beaten another boss? Spectacular. Now then, here's where you should be heading next. On the mountain east of this village. There's an abandoned mine. Those rascals are apparently making a base out of it, but... To get there, you'll have to follow the eastern river. Upstream. You can swim, right? Uh-oh. Fantastic, AIDS. The $1,000 bounty on Ghost Suzuki is yours to keep. Dude, I'm rich and there's nothing to buy. There's another Super Nintendo game released in 2000. When 3D gaming first hit the market, I couldn't care less about 2D era stuff anymore, really. I was bummed. I remember going over to my buddy Mickey's place and playing on his PlayStation when I was like seven or eight or some shit. And I like saw the fucking analog sticks and the 3D gaming. And I was like, what the fuck is this? I don't like this. And I got an N64 that Christmas and it kind of changed my mind playing through Ocarina of Time. Metal Slater Glory Director's Cut. November 2000 in Japan. Apparently it's a remake of an NES game. November 2000. Sadly, same. Mickey Rooney? Yeah, Mickey Rooney. Boy, over there. I got very good thing for you. It's called Underwater Set. Make anyone able to swim like little fishes. Underwater Set is 500. Okay. So now we can explore water. Sweet. Oh, I was still loving the 2D. Some 3D stuff of that era took a while for it to catch up onto me. Just the thing for all those deep water spots that have been stopping you. Mash those buttons and swim your heart out. Sweet. Sweet. Mm -hmm. 
All right, I don't expect them demi-seeds can get in here. Rascally varmints, you're not laying a finger on my babies. I grew up with Super Nintendo Genesis and even NES, so all I knew up to that point was 2D. Then seeing the advertisement for Mario 64, I wanted nothing more than to play 3D N64. Hey, AIDS, how you been? Oh, what am I doing? I finally got those horses into the corral, so I was taking a little break. Phew, wore me out. I didn't realize I could get in the back here. That guy's been doing nothing but rest this whole time. He didn't... He didn't get the horses in the corral. I did it all. Grr, it makes me so mad. How many games did the 64 actually work properly? How many games worked properly? What do you mean? I think that's why I was a big fan of Saturn at the time. It took a while for them to nail the 3D, but it had excellent 2D stuff. Yeah, it did. One of my friends had an N64 when it was brand new, and I didn't much care for it. I ended up getting him addicted to Final Fantasy Adventure. I knew I was right to pin my hopes on you, boy. You really are something special. Thanks to you, I can safely sit here and drink from noon to sundown. Hick. So, you're taking on those monsters that even the adults couldn't handle? Such power. Did you get on God's good side or something? You're one strong little boy. I like my men strong. Giggle. Mega Cat Stewip. Okay. Do we get a new gun? So, how's about I learn you how to use a weapon or two? Alrighty, let me learn you how to use a drill arm. Learn how to use the drill arm. Go, go, drill arm. Every man's fantasy drill arm. It takes down just... It takes down any enemy in just one hit. What the fuck? Sweet Mary, you're a quick learner. Come again later, you hear? I'll learn you how to use an even better weapon. Sweet. Whoops, Mega Cat Studios have been making Super Nintendo games for like the past three to four years. Are they any good? I always see people saying the 64 games had issues. I didn't really play on the 64 much, so I was just asking, you know, games, so I figured you'd give me some info. Well... I don't really have too much to say about the N64, except PlayStation 1 and Sega Saturn blow it out of the water. It's got, like, maybe 30 good games on it, out of, like, the 297. So the library's kind of weak, too. What is this, Mr. Driller now? Yeah, it is. Come on, Daniel. We're supposed to be quiet. We can't go outside, and it's so boring. It seems the Demi Seeds have been growing more active as of late. We've been worried, and so we're having the children take shelter in here. Yeah, I was so pissed at Xmas I got my 64, I wanted to throw it in the trash. Why? What happened? Maybe that is just what they're trying to say, that a lot of games suck? Probably. That's probably it. Is it really true that you beat a demi-seed? You marvelous thing, you. My old man, on the other hand, honestly, I ought to make him start taking his cues from you. Lots of great games on the N64. Yeah, like, maybe 10% of its library is good. There's some good games on the 64? Yeah, of course there were. I've told the story a few times, but I powered up 64. Oh, that's why, just that. Okay. Well, 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 ha ha ha, that's my boy. Your father seemed the happiest I've ever seen him. Ah, <sighs> saved. The Japanese had a lot more cooler games on the N64. I've never looked up the fucking Japanese library. There's a good handful of legendary N64 games. Oh yeah, the games that are good on it are extremely fucking good. Alright. Alright, we're quite a bit past three hours. I think I'm gonna call it quits for now, but... Like usual, I'll be back on in like three or four hours. Play some more. Um, there are a lot of really cool ones for the Japanese games. Yeah, I bet. I think most of the games just in Japan are better for all systems. That's usually how it goes, Lit Clips. The Star Soldier on 64 is good. I've never played that one. Alright, who should we raid?
Hmm, have a good one. Take care, everyone. Glad to catch this one. Sega fan raid, Hudless Live. Can you raid yourself? <laughs> no. Yeah, I appreciate you guys hanging out. Thank you very much for fucking chilling. This game is so cool. I can't wait to play it again. And uh, yeah, I'll be back in like three or four hours. I gotta finish up Aztec Adventure on the Sega Master System still. <sighs> so I'll probably be doing that tonight, and then I guess I'll just play this again uh, tomorrow for my early stream. Yeah, Dewey Stein keeps raiding me, so I'm going to raid him back. Oh, fuck. Melissa's phoning. Hey, babe. What? Yeah, I'll be right there. Love you, too. Okay. Yes, that guy sucks. Creature 92? Alright. Oh, yeah, dude, Dojimbo, thank you so much for all the fucking gift subs. What the hell, dude? That was awesome. I really appreciate it, man. He's an oddball. I'm just gonna type rate this dude named Psychofan. Alright. I'm sure I'll see most of you guys in a few hours. If I don't, I hope you guys have a good day, and I will talk to you later.